Yo, yo, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about props and how we can customize our components. Let's go back to our code from last class. As you can see, we have this paragraph component. So now if we want to customize it, we can add a parameter called props here. And this props object is basically a dictionary. So we can pass in key value pairs. So when we create this paragraph component here, we can pass the key value pairs over as a prop. To do that, all we have to do is hit space. And here I'm going to type title equals and then I'm going to open the quotation marks and put this is a paragraph. And then we're going to close it with the quotation mark. And this is basically just assigning properties to an HTML element. And now inside the body of this component, we can use this props by simply opening the squiggle brackets, which allows us to use JavaScript syntax. So now inside here, we can do props dot title. And now we can get rid of the text here. And now to delete the other paragraphs for now, hit save and open your terminal and then run npm start to start your development server whoops my bad huh i put a slash inside of a dot so save this again and now let's go back to your browser and here you have your app and if you scroll down you're gonna see this is a paragraph now let's go back to our code so we can add as many properties as we want for example let's add id equals and if we want to assign a numerical value we have to use the squiggle brackets and then here we can put in one and now let's copy and paste this two more times and then let's put ID two and three, and let's change these paragraphs. So let's use this ID. So let's open the squiggle brackets and let's do props.id and let's put a colon after it and then hit save. And now let's open our browser. And now if you scroll down, you're gonna see one, this is a paragraph, two, hello world, and three, code with Vincent. As you can see, this is very powerful. We can create very reusable components and then we can customize the values inside it. Creating those paragraphs wasn't cool at all. So now let's add Bootstrap to our application. And now let's copy over this link and let's go back to our code. So now let's head on over to index.html. Now let's add this head into the head of our HTML and hit save. And now let's go back to the app.js. And now instead of making a paragraph, let's make a card component. So let's do function card and then we give it props as a parameter and we open the squiggle brackets and then let's return. Now in Bootstrap, go to components and let's scroll down and let's go to the card. And this card looks pretty cool. So let's copy it and now let's go back to our code. And now inside this card component, let's paste this code. And here we have some errors here. So the problem here is that this image tag isn't closed. So we can just close it by adding a slash here. And now the error should go away. So anywhere you see hard coded values like here, card title, some quick example, go somewhere, etc. We can now replace it with props. So here, let's remove this and let's put squiggle bracket and let's put props.title. And I'll save this. So if you right click in Visual Studio, there's this format document, just click that and it should automatically format everything. Cool, so now scroll down and underneath the paragraph, let's add the card component. So now we can do card and then let's close it. And then in here, let's add the properties. Title equals, let's do title. Here I have an image, so let me paste it and I'll save this and I'll go back to the browser and nothing's showing up. So let's right click and go to inspect. Let's go to console. And if you get any errors, feel free to dig around here. So basically what it's saying is if we have a style property, we have to create it as an object. So let's go back to our code. And if you look inside our card component, we have this style property right here with 18 REM. And this is inside a string. So what we have to do is turn it to an object. So wrap it inside a squiggle bracket and we have to pass this as an object. So to turn this to an object, we have to open squiggle brackets again. So let's do that. And then add a quotation mark at the end of width and then add a quotation mark on 18 REM and get rid of this semicolon. And now let's hit save. And now let's go back to the page and now it's rendering. So let's close the console and now scroll down. And as you can see, we've got this cool card here. Now let's go back to the code. And let's copy and paste this card two more times. Now let's hit save and let's go back to the browser. And if you scroll down, you're going to see three Psyducks. And if you right click and go to inspect and let's open this up. And here you see the div ID root and let's open the app. And here you can see there's these three card elements and let's open it up. Look at all this code that it has, but inside our code, we only had three simple lines like this. And that's basically the power of React. Feel free to try this out and create your own reusable components. And in the next class, we're going to learn about state. <laughs>